sometimes, long afterwards, it's possible to look back and see the beginning of things. At the point at which you'd already plunged in. You know Chavo, do you? Sort of. G'day. G'day. It wasn't as if I didn't already have someone to love. What's going on with you and Martin? Did he say something to you? He thinks you're getting sick of him. Would you like to stay? We slept together three nights in a row. Three nights in a row was enough to make it too late. Now, you're not doing it again, are you? Yeah, I suppose I've done it again. Well, what future is there in it? Oh, Eve, I'm not all that worried about futures. I don't want to love anyone forever. I think I already knew this one was going to be trouble. What do you feel about Chavo? You should just be nicer to him. And leave him alone. That's what I reckon. When you call to me and you shut me out like that, you make me feel ugly and stupid and boring. And I give up. Yeah, no, you'll get over it. What do you mean? How would you know? Don't you remember Ramondo and that dumb card and everything? Yeah, well, what happened to your love? Just passed. What's up? You worried about our living in the same house? I just want it quite clear that we're not moving into this house as a couple. We have our own rooms. That'll establish us separately. Our own dressing gowns, muesli, toothbrushes. <laughs> Come on, mate. We can outlast a lot of them. You see so little of each other, we're bound to. Still, a person shouldn't be ashamed to wish for love. I'm gonna get you 